Um, I'm Maggie Montgomery, and uh, actually, when Stuart spoke this morning, I was going to start differently, but it sort of summed up one of the reasons why I really like coming here, and it fills my heart with joy to hear words like that that we all think about but often forget. But anyway, I started out as a Lutheran, where I was baptized and went to a Lutheran church in Sunday school. But my maternal grandmother, who I adore, was my true teacher, and she taught me Bible stories, and showed me pictures and prayers. And after her death, we uh, moved to Hershey. My father built a house, what was then out on Fishburn Road, very country. And my father passed away when my brother and I were quite young and my mother was widowed. And getting to church with gasoline and driving into town was hard for her because we had very limited funds. So I went to church at a EUV church that was we could walk to. And I was uh, very upset one Sunday and came home and told my mother that the pastor said, we were going to hell. And my mother said, why? And I said, well, you smoke, you have cocktails, and I dance, we're doomed. <laughs> and mother looked at me and she said, well, guess what? We are going to Hershey, and we are going to become Episcopalians. <laughs> <laughs> instructions and became uh, Episcopalians. <laughs> the priest at the time was a wonderful man, Father Lloyd, who was very progressive for the era. He extended the church to Milton Hershey boys for the veto, and he ended up being the chaplain, I understand, at the junior college. And he was very kind and welcoming. My brother was an acolyte. And um, and then, when I was 19, I moved to New York City, where I lived for 51 years. My husband um, uh, passed away, and I retired, and finally found that New York uh, was no longer a place that I could live financially and for other reasons. I did attend church there in a very big, beautiful, almost cathedral-like church, Episcopal, called St. Barnes, and I did some volunteer work there. But I was back in Hershey, and I, I don't drive. And a dear friend of mine, Barbara, went to this church. At that point, she was able to get here by her own steam. And she asked around, and lovely couple befriended me, the Cassells, and they drive me to church. So I am very happy for that opportunity. I'm happy to be back and welcome. And I would say I went full circle. And here I am at the latter part of my life and so happy to be a part of this church.